to doodle with Bella. We're starting the series back up and I'm so excited. Hi everyone. And I managed to get Mr. Modest Cat in on this. Thank you, honey, for participating. You're welcome, no problem. <laughs> so we're going to have an episode every Friday from now on. And today's episode is how to draw a sloth. And this has been highly requested. Really? Yeah, everybody loves sloths because they're just so adorable. i never seen a sloth in real life. Yeah, me neither. I mean, they're indigenous to South America, so I wonder if we could find one here in a zoo. You know what? We should look that up and try to go find a sloth in a zoo. They're so cute. Yeah. You saw the sloth in Zootopia, mm -hmm. right? In he's, movie. Yeah, he's, he's adorable. Okay, so drawing a sloth has a lot of steps. So this time I won't be able to make... Um, the printable guide because I just can't fit all those steps in one little square so we're just gonna have this video and I'm gonna walk you through it so I'll make it easy to follow along we're gonna do a lot of guidelines so start off with your pencil so first we're gonna do the head guideline I'm gonna leave some space here for the branch and I'll start my head guideline here his head is tilted because he's sleeping so I'm going to make a circle like that. And when I do sketches, I don't press so hard into my paper. And I keep my hand really loose. So I make multiple strokes. Because it's just supposed to be a very rough sketch. Yes. Good job. Now let's do the body. We're going to have the body like this. Start from inside the head so it's easier for you to do the guideline. We're going to curve the body up, have a round butt, <laughs> and then the bottom of the body is going to be kind of flatter than the top. That's, that looks about right. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Since his head is over here, let's bring the body down right here. Okay, so now let's do the guidelines for the legs. They have long arms and legs because they wrap around the tree. So start where the joint is, where the head meets the body, and draw very long ovals, like so. Tilt it to the right. Now do the same shape for the back leg over here. Again, tilted towards the right. Yep. And we're not going to do guidelines for the back legs because they'll be really easy to draw. So this is pretty much all you need. Okay? Okay. Let's move on to our pen. I couldn't find my um, Papermate flare, so I'm using this one. I got my one. <laughs> you, found, you kept your uh, favorite pen pretty safe. I don't know where mine went. But I'm using this one, and I like this a lot too. You can find this at the Dollar Tree. It's called Pro Marks Ultra Fine 0.5. Yeah, that's very fine tip, and it's really good for journaling and drawing. So slots are very fluffy. They have a lot of fur. So we're not just gonna draw the head plain, like a plain circle line. We're gonna make rough zigzag lines to show that he's furry, okay? okay. So let me show you what I mean. I'm just gonna start here. And I'm going to do some zigzag lines like that. And you can do as many as you want. And then go along the head until the head guideline meets the body. Yeah, good job. Now let's do this side. And we'll have it the fur coming down. So we'll start at the point where I started last time. And then just do some zigzag lines. until you meet the arm. Yeah, perfect. So he's all furry. They're so cute. So I'm gonna make a little fold of skin right here. So I'm gonna bring this line past the body guideline, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna draw another line coming out here. It'll be a curve, perfect. Now let's draw the body from here. You just follow the guideline until you meet the back leg guideline. 
I drew my guideline a little bit too out, so I made it a little rounder when I drew it with my pen. Hey, well, I said to until you meet the oh, leg. Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> Let's use some white out for you. Okay. You can always fix mistakes, so don't ever stress out about any mistakes that you make. So, ta da! There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's start with the front leg. Just follow the guideline and stop where it meets the body. Yes. And now draw the bottom of the body, make it a little curvy, and stop where it meets the back, back I leg. Did. Oh, you already did it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then just draw the back leg. So, yeah, now let's draw the back arm. So you're just, it's gonna look just like this. And you start off here and you do a curve, just like that, until it meets the body. So he's sleeping on a branch. So I'm gonna have the branch coming out right here from his bum. So we'll draw a line from where the leg hits the body mm -hmm. and bring it up. Good job, we're getting there. So now let's draw the end of the branch, just a line, curvy line coming up. And then we're going to draw the top of the branch meeting the body and I'm going to make it a little curvy. Now we can draw the back leg, same thing as the back arm, have a curve and bring it up to the branch like this. Good job. Let's draw the front of the branch. So it's gonna taper out, it'll be skinnier. Mm -hmm. So basically you use your finger as a guideline and you start from where this branch was and just do an imaginary line to see where you should draw the top of the branch. So mine is gonna go like this, and I know it'll come out here. Yeah, now let's make another curve, just like that. It'll be skinny from here, but then I'll taper out like this. Yeah, good. Now we're gonna draw some leaves. Okay. I'm gonna end my branch as if it's kind of like cut off. And then I'll draw some leaves coming out from it. Here you can draw as many leaves as you want. I'm just gonna draw some twigs like this and then a leaf coming out like that. Now let's draw the face. Okay. So let's start with a point, kind of on the upper third of the head, in the middle. A little dot. Yeah. Now we're going to draw two curves coming out from the dot, like this. One going there, the other one coming out like that. Yes, exactly. And now we're going to close this gap with a curve and make sure it kind of covers almost the entire head. There you go. And now we're going to draw the eyes. He's sleeping. And I didn't forget about the claws. We'll do that at the end. He's sleeping, so I'll draw two U's like this. Yeah, so cute. Now, they have a different coloring around the eyes, so we're going to indicate that by drawing a curve coming out like that and going around the eye. You did it! Now let's draw a nose, just an oval. Yep, and then a little line coming down. 
for his mouth. Sleepy sloth. Now all we have to do is draw the claws. So they have long claws so they can mm -hmm. climb trees. And they have three of them, as far as I remember. So you start off here with the curve, long curve for his long claw. Yep, and then bring this line back up, curvy, and bring it back to the leg or arm. We're going to do two more, but I'm not going to start where this claw ended. I'm going to start down here and do a curve like that and then bring it up. Yes. Good job. Now just one more. Yeah. And now we're going to do the same thing for all the other legs. Okay. And that's it. There's your sleepy sloth. Let's color it in. Just erase all your guidelines and color. So those are our sloths. I had a lot of fun coloring my sloth today. Me too. Usually I get very impatient, but I had a lot of fun coloring him. I did like darker marks to indicate that he's very furry. Okay, so we're still doing the sticker giveaway every week. All you have to do to enter the sticker giveaway is share your doodle with us. Share your doodle in our Facebook group. Um, if you haven't joined our Facebook group yet, I'll leave the link in the description box. You can also share it on Instagram using the hashtag TMC Doodles. If you share it in both places, you get two entries for the week. The featured doodler will win two full-size sticker sheets and two mini sticker sheets from my shop of your choice. Give this video a thumbs up if you like slots or if you liked learning how to draw one with us. And also leave a comment down below with suggestions of what you want me to teach you. We don't have one planned out for next Friday, so I'm going to look in the comments and pick a suggestion from there. So tell me what you want me to teach you in the comments. Thanks for watching. And thanks for doodling with us, and we'll see you next Friday. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more doodles, you can click on either of the videos right now on the screen. And don't forget to click the notification bell to find out when the next video comes out. Happy doodling and take care.